Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, The Black Widow here and today I am coming to you with a video about my assassin bugs. Uh, it's going to be fairly short but it's something different um, rather than showing more feeding and stuff like that that doesn't need to happen at the moment. Also coming soon is going to be a big rehouse because a lot of my enclosures have been... Marcy? <laughs> A lot of my enclosures have been messed up during moving them around and stuff, so I really want to sort them out. I've also got some slings that are not in the perfect housing for them, so I am going to change that. So, let's jump into the video. I hope you guys enjoy. Do subscribe, like and comment if you enjoy the content, and I'll see you at the end of the video. Okay, so first of all, I actually need to clean this enclosure out, which means I need to get my all my assassin guys out which if you keep assassin bugs you'll know that this is not the easiest thing they're not friendly you can't handle them so <clears throat> it's a case of transferring them from here into a container and uh hoping not to get any kind of bite or spray especially considering i don't have my long tongs i'm going to change the angle so you can right, see well better. i stupidly didn't um didn't press record when i did the time lapse of me um of the time lapse of me getting them in the temporary enclosure while i clean this out these are always a pain to get out because i really don't want to take a bite from one of these guys it would be incredibly unpleasant <laughs> So now that the enclosure is done, I'll just explain to you what it is that I've done. I'm going to feed this guy that's at the front here because he's kind of getting in in the way of me uh, filming. Oh, and the roach is running off. They're such weird little creatures. So what we've got going on here, incessant bugs are really easy 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 to keep so basically this mound that i've built up here is actually where they will lay their eggs if you don't keep the substrate damp the eggs will not hatch and um, they will dry out and they will dimple these guys breed fairly prolifically you don't really need to do anything no heat source nothing to encourage breeding they will just breed and uh I keep them sort of, you need some arboreal um, situation going on because that's how they molt is when they hang. Look at this guy. With his, I don't know what you would call that. It's not a, it's not a fang, some weird appendage, but it's sharp. And they look crazy, don't they? So yeah. This is how I keep my assassin bugs. We have arboreal cork bark at the back so that they can hide out. And as you can see, they're all kind of congregating back there, probably making a plan of attack because I just messed up their enclosure and redid it. But another thing about assassin bugs is they do get quite smelly when left, obviously, because of carcasses that are left after they've finished eating. Um... Another thing about these guys, you do not want to get bitten by one of these. It would be really painful. It certainly wouldn't uh, kill you, but it would it would hurt. Just take it from me that it would it would really hurt. I have never been bitten by one, so you know I can't give you an accurate description of what that would be like, but I can tell you that it would it really would hurt. Uh, these guys are pretty funny when they feed. A lot of the time you'll see them jump onto the food and they um, they attack together as well. So you might get a few that will join up to eat one roach. They will fight over the roach. They will bite each other. That's also not uncommon. These guys need misting down, I would say, 
anywhere between three and four times a week. I don't leave a water bowl because it's not like a tarantula. I've never seen them actually use a water source, but obviously you can leave a water source if you feel, uh, if you if you would like to. It's certainly not going to do any harm to leave a water source. They are, there's two going for that roach right now. They, they're not overly shy. They will be out in the open fairly often, uh, doing their thing, looking for food, you know, that kind of thing. And um, you can leave the babies in the enclosure. So you will get eggs, eggs will hatch, and you can leave the babies in there. You do run the risk of some cannibalization if you do not feed them often enough. I feed every other day these guys and I basically just throw a bunch of roaches in, a bunch of worms, what, whatever I feel like. And um, it usually does, does the trick. Let's drop one. So I'm going to throw a couple of roaches in. Um, tap some of those in there. They're all coming out because they see movement going on. Some jumps. Yeah, very nice. Oh, this little one over here. Let's let's see if we can feed. Oh, he got one just when I was about to feed it. <laughs> when filming, I do have to watch my hands because sometimes like this guy, you could have one that's lurking down here in the corner. And if I stick my hands in during feeding time, they may suspect that I am food and uh, that would not be good. As I said, a bite would not be very nice. Um, they also have the ability to spray like an acid type solution, I guess. Um, and if the acid gets in your eyes, it could very well blind you. I'm in a situation where I have to wear glasses because my eyesight isn't fantastic. And actually it works in my favor because chances are if one sprayed, it, I would be less likely to come to any harm. Uh, I also really like the way this enclosure looks. Basically in about six weeks, six, seven weeks, I will have a dig around here, see if any of them have had any babies. I wouldn't say I've got a huge amount of mature ones in here they're all hiding at the back at the moment they're fighting over this one down here let's see if we can give this little one something to eat sometimes i have to really watch um some of the smaller ones because sometimes the adults sometimes the adults <laughs> will take all the food and some of these little ones can end up dying because they they just don't get fed because I can throw them in there but if the adults um, take first dibs then sometimes these smaller guys can go without so I do try to hand feed not hand feed but obviously tongue feed to try and uh, to try and make sure that everybody is feeding there's obviously a lot more assassins back there. See, these two are in a bit of a tug of war. Let's see if I can give, persuade one of them to let go and have a different one. No, not interested. Where are you going with that? Where are you dragging it? Are you making sure your friends don't get it? So we have a little one here. Let's see if I can feed this one. I thought this one did have some food, but it's... it's maybe it just dropped it. Let's see what I can find an appropriate sized one. I'm running low on, uh, on roaches. There we go. That's a good size one. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Get it. Get it then. 
you really are making this quite difficult. Come on then. Come on. Yeah. You really need to sink into it, buddy. Come on. Oh. Yeah. Come on. Come on, get it. Nice. Yeah, these guys can be really savage and they can take on prey that is bigger than them. You're upside down, mate. They can take on prey that is, in fact, bigger than them. Have you got some food? It doesn't look like it. Would you like a roach? Ooh. Oh, he looks a bit messed up. He looks like one of his buddies has had maybe a go at him. Mm. Oh dear. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. It can happen um, when they get into fights. So you do have to be careful and kind of watch them. But it, there's not really much you can do when they get into fights. They get into fights and there's not a whole lot you can do about it. So yeah, that's all about my assassin birds. Really easy to keep. So the basics are you need some uh, fairly moist substrate, lots of cork bark and um, arboreal sort of setup so that they can molt because they molt hanging. Um, feed every other day or minimum every three days because otherwise they will cannibalize. Um, if you create a mound when they're adults, a corner mound, they will burrow and um, place their eggs and deposit their eggs in this, keep that area moist or remove the eggs and keep keep the area moist and the eggs should hatch. If you see any dimpling of your eggs, that's probably because you're keeping them too dry. So give them a mist and they should, uh, should sort itself out. But yeah, I think these guys are really cool and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Okay guys, so I hope you really enjoyed the video. Do let me know what you thought, what else you would like to see. I'm also working on a collection tour video. Marcy is chattering right next to me in the background sorry about that um and yeah i'll try and get that out as soon as i can it's obviously a fairly long video but i'll do my best and uh, i'll see you guys next time